All right, today we're going to play around with uh, editing a logo uh, and putting some textures inside the logo. So I want to show you just how easy it is to do that. And uh, so first off, let's just go ahead and upload a logo. And I've got one right here. And what we're going to do is we're just going to type in as a as a default, right? Uh, logo with XX texture, flat white background. Now we're going to use this, and where the X's are, we're going to put in different textures. And unfortunately. Uh, retexture in the uh, mid journey editing area does not support batch uh, work. So I couldn't do like three or four different texture ideas all at one time. I got to do these individually. I'm sure later they'll probably support it, but right now we have to do it the old fashioned way. So where those X's are, I'm just going to put in a new texture and we're going to say red shiny plastic. Right. And I just hit submit retexture and of course what this does is it sees the logo the black area and then it uses the words to kind of give me a new idea about how uh, the image should work and uh, this is a pretty easy way of doing something if you've got it, you're trying to improve on a logo so it gives you of course four different versions kind of like that one the best um, but let's go ahead and do something else. So let's say uh, blue jean denim. Submit retexture. And it works the same way. And I'll do one more. Uh, and let's just go ahead and say uh, a rainbow tie dye. Because who doesn't like that, right? And uh, so here's our blue jean one. And you can see it's various degrees of looking like blue jeans. That one actually even has some stitching. You know, in fact, if we wanted, we could say we could improve this and we could say um, with uh, tan stitching just to see what it does. And here is our rainbow tie dye. That one pretty much looks the best there. Okay. So do you see how easy it is to apply some sort of texture or coloration to an existing logo? And let's see how we did with this one. This one, I guess you could delete the those tan areas. That looks pretty cool. That one actually gave us a pocket. Uh, not what I wanted, but that's okay. I like this one. We could have uh we could have said something about the white negative space. But we didn't. But anyway, so I just wanted to kind of show you real quick how easy it is to uh, use the Mid Journey editor area to upload a logo and then recolor it any way you want. So um, anyway, thanks for watching. Hopefully, you learned something. And uh, please subscribe to the Mid Journey uh, Experience newsletter. We'd love to see you there. It's just twelve bucks a month for our, our weekly newsletter that's delivered right to your inbox. So thank you.